Cudden Freeze Dry, based in Marlborough, New Zealand, have nearly 50 years experience in the design and installation of leading edge freeze dry systems all over the world. The principles of freeze drying, however, have been known for much longer than that. People living in Arctic climates have long known that food left in the cold will dry out and be preserved for long periods. It's the same reason we have to wrap food in a home refrigerator to stop it drying out. This happens because of the unique properties of water in its various forms. We are all familiar with how water behaves as the temperature changes. Between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius, it's the familiar clear liquid. Raise the temperature to 100 degrees and it turns to vapour in the form of steam. And if we lower its temperature below zero, it becomes solid as ice. This is all very familiar at normal atmospheric pressure. But if we look at the effect of changing pressure as well as temperature, some interesting things happen. As the pressure decreases, the temperature at which water changes from liquid to vapour also decreases. If you lower the pressure enough, water will become vapour at normal room temperature. And if you lower the pressure to less than 6 millibars, water won't stay in liquid form at all. Instead, it will change from ice to vapour, or vice versa, without ever being in liquid form. The point where this first happens is known as the triple point. So, as long as we keep the pressure and temperature below the triple point, water can be extracted from frozen product as vapour only. This process is known as sublimation and is the key to successful freeze drying. The unique way that water behaves can be demonstrated by putting a glass of water into the freeze dry chamber and lowering the pressure. At about one tenth atmosphere, the water reaches its vapour point and appears to start boiling, even though it's still quite cool. If the pressure is further lowered to below the triple point, the water freezes to ice. As long as the pressure and temperature stay below the triple point, the solid ice will sublimate directly to vapour, eventually migrating to the condenser unit. So, maintaining the correct relationship between temperature and pressure over a complete drying cycle is essential for effective freeze drying. The touch screen controller, standard on all cut and dryers, makes this an easy task. Cudden freeze dryers provide a superior drying and preservation method for a wide range of foodstuffs, pharmaceuticals and health products. Around 98% of the moisture content can be removed without altering the size or shape of the product, while, most importantly, keeping the protein and nutrients intact. Whatever the product, it must be placed on the tray in a thin, even layer to ensure uniform, high-quality drying throughout. Bulkier products, like seafood, should lie in just one layer, touching but not covering each other. Smaller items, like peas and corn, are easy to lay out, but again should be placed in a smooth, even layer to avoid puddles of residual moisture. This is especially important with high-value products, like saffron, where lumps or uneven placement must be avoided. Some larger items, like bananas, mushrooms, peppers and strawberries, are best processed into smaller pieces before drying. Again, their placement in a smooth, even layer is important. Whatever the product, the same principle applies. Careful and correct laying out on the product trays is absolutely essential for achieving the best possible drying results. When the trays are loaded, they are placed in the drying chamber, the temperature probes inserted, and the freeze-dry cycle gets underway. The main purpose of the touchscreen controller is to manage the sequence of temperature and pressure variations that takes place over a complete drying cycle. This sequence will be different for different types of product, and each sequence is called the recipe for that product. Selecting stored recipes or creating new ones is easily done via the touch screen. Once the operator has logged in, the main screen is the starting place for access to a wide range of functions. The first task is usually to select the correct recipe for the product to be dried. 
Available recipes are accessed by scroll buttons, a choice made, and the active recipe is displayed at the bottom of the screen. If a different sequence of temperature and pressure is required, a new recipe is set up by accessing the various parameters in turn and making appropriate adjustments. New recipe. You can then change the temperatures through these max, minimum and maximum to a new value, minus 20, new temperature. Same with the time, five hours. So we start at 20, ramp to 60, hold at 60, ramp to 40, ramp to 30. Our final end temperature can be set. The new recipe is then stored and added to the list of available recipes in the controller memory. Now we can scroll up or down and find recipes. After the correct recipe has been selected and, if necessary, amended, the operator returns to the main screen and starts the drying cycle. The system will then run automatically, according to the times, temperatures and pressures set in the recipe. The drying process runs for several hours, with a constant readout of conditions provided on the touchscreen. Once the pressure is below the triple point, heat is applied to the product and sublimation begins. Because the ice condenser coil is kept at a lower temperature than the product, the saturated water vapour extracted from the product migrates to the coil and builds up there as ice. A data logger keeps track of chamber pressure and reads temperatures from the product probes and ice coil. These graphs give a good indication of drying progress, with a rise in product probe temperatures signalling that drying is nearly complete. The time base of the graphs can be altered to view either the present state or how the respective temperatures have progressed throughout the drying cycle. The main screen gives a graphic representation of the overall freeze-dryer system and the state of each component. Once the drying cycle is initiated by the operator, the controller operates automatically, with various interlocks ensuring each phase is complete before the next is allowed to proceed. If an abnormal condition is detected, the controller sounds an alarm and illustrates the probable cause. Further screens help isolate the problem, allowing the operator to hold the drying process, determine the cause, then reset and continue. Once again, the various interlocks prevent any non-standard operation or risk of damage from operator error. When drying is complete, the operator checks product temperatures and initiates a vacuum break allowing the chamber pressure to rise back to normal atmosphere. When the chamber internal and external pressures are the same, the locks are released and the product, now completely dried, can be removed for packing and dispatch. The module unit can easily be removed for cleaning and maintenance. Firstly, disconnect the probe connections and tuck them away on top of the unit. Then, unscrew the locks that secure the module in place. Disconnect the flexible hoses Roll the support stand into position and lock it in place. The module can now be rolled out of the chamber. The stainless steel shelves are now easily accessible for thorough cleaning and any other maintenance required. When everything is completed, the module is rolled back into the chamber and reconnected, 
ready for another load. Every cut and freeze dryer is a top quality example of precision engineering that will provide years of reliable service. Whatever the product, best results will be achieved with a good understanding of the principles of freeze drying and how they are implemented in practice. Careful loading of the product trays to ensure complete and even drying. Choosing the correct recipe for each product, making adjustments as necessary. Monitoring data readouts throughout the sublimation process. Regular cleaning of the module unit and following recommended procedures for overall system maintenance. Congratulations on joining the network of worldwide operators who have chosen Cudden's innovative engineering products. And welcome to a new world of fast, reliable and cost-effective freeze-drying. <laughs>